Okay guys, so I'm going to make a sweet roll. Um, I'm going to actually do it in the shape of like a crescent roll. But to start it out, I'm going to use a third cup of warm water. Quarter teaspoon of sugar. And one packet of active dry yeast. Now I'm going to let this yeast sit for 10 minutes. Okay, so now my yeast, my packet of yeast, let's see, how if you can, hopefully you can see that. Packet of yeast and a quarter teaspoon of sugar with a third cup of like one, 105 um, degree Fahrenheit water. So I'm going to dump that in to my mixer sure we get it all. And then from there, I'm, so I, I'm going to add five tablespoons of sugar. I have that measured out here. One and one third cup of warmed milk. This is also about 105, 106 degrees. to add five tablespoons of softened butter. One egg, preferably room temperature. I forgot to get mine out earlier, slightly beaten, and that, so can make sure you get everything out, and we're just going to kind of, I'm just going to mix it with my whisk in here. See kind of the butter chunks. I'm hoping you can see. Yes, you can see the butter chunks in there. So that's mixed, and now I'm going to start to add my flour, which is four cups. You might need a little bit more, kind of as needed. So I'm going to do a little bit at a time. One. And I'm just going to kind of start mix in a little bit with just my spatula. It's going to be a really sticky dough. You can do it all without the mixer. It's just easier to use my mixer. Two. I'm going to do a little mixing again. Smells delicious already. That yeast smell is amazing. Three.
Okay, from here, put my fourth cup in there, and I'm gonna attach my dough hook and let the machine do the work. I'm just gonna put it on speed number two. This is going to be a really sticky dough, um, so it's just going to start cleaning up on the side. And I'm only going to need it for just a few minutes, not very long. Yeah, see how it's starting to get nice and sticky? And this will not form um, like a ball of dough. We're going to have to scrape it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna get it. I'm hoping you can see how sticky this is. So I'm gonna take it off of the dough hook and it actually will stick. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of flour on my fingers to kind of, so I can operate with this. And move that to the side. Hopefully you can see this. Yep. So what I'm gonna do is just spray it with a non-stick spray. I'm gonna spray it down really good because I do not want this to stick. And I think I'm just gonna try to use my spatula and I'm gonna scrape this out into the bowl. on the top and I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap and stick it in the back of my oven not on or anything just at uh, with the light on for two hours so I'm actually going to go ride my horse and do all that fun stuff while this sits for dinner tonight So two hours in the oven with the light on in the back corner. So we will be back in two hours. Okay, so now here I have honey butter. So this is four tablespoons of melted butter, three tablespoons powdered sugar or confectioner's, confectioner's sugar, whatever you want to call it, and three tablespoons of honey. So um, I have it all melted together. So I'm gonna put that on the side. And now I'm gonna flour my surface. I don't want a lot of flour, but I don't want it to stick either. So I'm only just doing a little bit. And I'm also gonna kinda flour my knuckles. And this is the ro risen dough. So I'm gonna pull that off, punch it down. And from here, I have to read what I'm gonna do but let's see. I'm gonna divide the dough into two equal balls. So I'm gonna put it there. Let's move this. And I'm just gonna kinda
make it into one big ball here. Oh man, this is some nice dough, guys. And there's a couple ways you can go about it. You can kind of pinch it together um, and squeeze until you can make two, or just come in here and cut it in half. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to freeze, or I don't even know if I'll freeze, I might just put it in the fridge with some saran wrap and uh, make some rolls a different day as well. So I have, I'll put that right back in the bowl that I got it out of. And now I have this second one, a bit of flour. Oh, this isn't the cleanest process. So I'm gonna like kind of let that sit and rest a bit. I'm gonna go grab my rolling pin. And I'll flour that as well. And I'm gonna start to roll this out. Now, if you realize, or if you see it um, not staying out, it's shrinking back, and you might have to let it rest just a little bit. Basically, it's just pulling back together right now, and so sometimes you just have to let it sit just for a little while and let it rest. I'm hoping I don't have to do that, just because I'm trying to We're pretty round here. So now I'm gonna take my honey butter and I'm gonna rub it and spread it out over the top. And now I'm going to take a piece of cutters and I'm going to cut it like you would a pizza. four small ones here in the center so then I have it like this now what I'm gonna do is cover this with some saran wrap out here it's cling wrap guys so I'm gonna put it on one side of the pan here and hook it under so now be because I don't want it to stick I'm gonna hold it, hook it like that, hold it up, 
and I'm gonna spray the cooking spray on that. And I'm hoping that I got it good enough that it will not stick. All right, now from there, I can rearrange. It's got some room to grow. And now I'm gonna put it back in the oven with the light on for another hour. I'll probably go closer to two hours, but a minimum of another hour. We bake it at 350. I believe it's 350. Let me look, I have the notes on my phone. Depending on your oven. So my oven cooks on the hotter side, so I'm probably gonna do 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes and remove the plastic wrap. Obviously, some people, I, I think I just have to say that because safe, you know, better safe than sorry. So 15 to 20 minutes at 350 in my oven. If you have an electric oven, you might want it at 375. Um, that all kind of depends. So then after I pull them out, I'm gonna brush them with the leftover honey butter and serve them right from there. So we will come back at that point and... Okay guys, here are the rules. I am going to turn the oven on, 350. Get that going. And then I will put these in and show you the finished product. Look how nice and big those are, guys. Okay guys, my dinner rolls are done. So I pull them right out the oven and I am going to put the honey butter that I have, that I had melting. Now let's eat.